ลุยกันที่พิกัดน้ำหนัก54กิโลกรัมครับยอดมวยหญิงคนแรกเรียกได้ว่าเหมือนนางฟ้าเหรอฮะมาจากนครสวรรค์แน่เหมือนนางฟ้าทีเดียวเธอเดินลุยที่ไหนที่นั่นต้องถูกสยบครับผมขอเสียงต้อนรับทิดาจอมโหดพญาสิงสอสมเมตรพญาสิงสอสมมิตรทิดาจอมโหดประเทศไทยอ่ะ here comes p i a s i n g Saw s u m i t from Thailand. It's time for the Nak Boy Ying, the only females here on this evening's Thai fight. A big ask for p i a s i n g Obviously, taking on one of the very best in the world at Muay Thai, but also going up in weight to 54 kgs. Of course, as it is custom here on Thai Fight, all competitors will go over to the images of the king and queen to show respect before entering the ring. After this fight, there will be a short intermission, and then we'll get back to Thai Fight League. So there will be time for you to grab yourself a drink, go to the toilet, or whatever you want to do. But stay with us for this one. p i a s i n g s a w s a b i t making her way down the entrance. A tie fight lottery. Do not forget that next month, tie fight, the big tie fight show returns. We will be in s a m o p r a k a n just outside of Bangkok. มาแล้วนะครับผมพญาสิงสอสมมิตรครับดูสิว่าคนนี้จะมาสู้ได้ขนาดไหนวันนี้พิกัดน้ำหนักนี้คุณจะเป็นแชมป์ได้ต้องผ่านท่านนี้ก่อนนะครับนี่คือยอดมวยหญิงนะครับสไตล์การชกแบบโหดเลยจากพงเบียนมาครับตอนรับด้วยนี่คือสาวแข่งรุ่มสารวินเวโรวรุจิระวเวโรวรุจิระวงสาวแข่งรุ่มสารวินประเทศเมียนมา Here she comes, making her way to the ring. The queen of Lethway, the queen of Kachuk, and the Thai Fight Kachuk champion of 2022. It's Baro f o r r u c h i r a t w o k one of the finest fighters in the world. In fact, I rank her number one, Aaron. I agree with you 100%. And it's 53 kilograms in the sport of Muay Thai, female Muay Thai. There's two names that stick out to me, and that, of course, is Song r a t s u m i And this girl right here, Vero for r u c h i r a w o n g Ever Now. since, like you said, in the past she came to Thai fight. It's been destruction. Yeah. It's been a w e s o m e It really has been. Ever since she joined on Thai fight Lam Bang. Indeed. And during my debut, I have to say one big one debut. Thing. Exactly, <laughs> big debut. She's been on a tear. She's been phenomenal. There's only that one time where she didn't enjoy fighting with gloves. Nevertheless, she won. But she says k a c h u k is her thing. Representing Myanmar and also Tiger Boy Thai, in which he fights out of and trains. Of course, Mr. Bree. What are they going to say after life? That's right. And of course, representing the Karini people of yeah. Myanmar. Can't state that enough. Big shout out to Johnny Vex. There's the referee in charge, Patanam Pong Saban. Judges are ringside: n a r t a w a n i a n g Ubon, Arun k u b u t a c h a t and Somchai k a h o t o n g Really excited to see what sort of fight. f e r r a s opponent can give her today, Paya Singh. There she is. She's already fought on Thai Fight League. Now she gets this opportunity on the big Thai fight. Paya Singh saw summit. 26 years of age from Nakhon s o w a n Province, just next to where we are. Literally next to where we are. 
Yeah, we're actually closer to the border of Nakhon Sawan province than we are to the center of Lotbury. Oh. Yeah, I mean, we're right next to the border of Nakhon mm. Sawan, in fact. She stands at 157 centimeters and has a professional record of 68 fights with 57 victories, six losses and five draws. Good record. And there you see her opponent in the black corner from Myanmar, Vero Valruchirat Wong. 27 years of age, 164 centimeters tall from Shan State in Myanmar. There's a total of 41 fights, 22 victories, two losses, and 17 draws. And her list of honors include being the Thai Fight Kacha Champion of 2022 at 53 kilos. She was a bronze medalist in the Southeast Asian Games, and she's also a champion in Myanmar. Always very excited to see Vero step into the ring. She is currently 12 and 0 on Thai fight from 12 fights. And on paper, you can imagine that she's going to extend that record with seven knockouts. Very impressive indeed. And the last match she competed against, Truiti Funti. Always had trouble pronouncing that, but nonetheless, the Vietnamese fighter gave Vero a good fight. But then in the third round, Vero really turned it up. Oh, it really was a good fight. Yeah. Absolutely. It was definitely a fight of the night in Cha Cheng Sao, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Oh, I agree with that. She's riding a two fight knockout streak. Is Vero. Can she make it three and three? Let's find out. Here we go, round number one. Team to start things off from both fighters, in fact. Ooh, one, two coming in from Hayasik. Combination there from Vero. Inside kick from Hayasik. Vero targeting the body there of Hayasik. Side team from Hayasik. With knees to the body from Vero. Yeah, knees to the body, something we're not used to seeing from Vero. Oh, beautiful boxing prowess there from Vero, but Hayasik strikes back. Vero's body strikes look deadly here tonight, Kevin. Yeah, they have really improved. She's mixed up her punches with the knees. Oh. Phenomenal there. Surely she's done some clinch training with Johnny Betts now to Tiger Boy Tai. Absolutely. Oh, big up the octopus. Strikes again to the body and down goes Biasig for the first time in this fight. She should have stayed out a little bit longer, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, that was phenomenal. Took, those, took her time, but. She's back onto it. Vero going in for the kill now. Looking again, like I said, for those body strikes. Finds the right hand. Left hook to the body. Right high kick attempted by Pysing. Vero shooting for that left hook to the body once again. Oh, another ripping left and right and a left. Good elbow though from Pysing. Yeah, beautiful elbow as Vero tries to attack the, the body. Good timing there from Pysing. All body work from Vero. Incredible. That's something we're definitely used to seeing from Vero. She loves to attack the body and then attack the head with the punches. Those hands are going to lower soon and she now starts to attack the head as well. Switching levels at the perfect time is Vero. Looking like a machine out there. End of round number one. What a round for Vero. ไทไฟลีกสนับสนุนโดยบ่ายอีซูซูดีแม็กซ์เหนือลิมิตพิชิตโลกเ
Ready to go. Round number two. Chauvero will be looking to finish it now. Chauvero is always looking to yeah, finish it. Yeah, you know. Without a doubt. Good kick there from Payasik. He does have unbelievable power. He's always in incredible condition. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. In terms of the tie fight roster that she has, she might be in the best condition of all. Best condition yeah. and probably the most popular in the tie fight roster <laughs> as well. <laughs> I mean, there's Sanchai in there, but yes. maybe Vero is at number two in terms of popularity of the Thai fight team. Good kick there from Payasik. Cross to Payasik. She's not on the back foot. She's taking it too, Vero. Oh, another big shot to the body by Vero. She might have gone too low that time and connected to the leg. That, that would give someone a dead leg for sure. Yeah. Deep there by Vero, and again, that weary body of Piasing. Vero taking the time. A nice kick there from Piasing. Just biding, biding the time, should I say. And when there's a gap, you know what's coming. More shots like that to the body. Tempted right hand, could be a clash of heads that time. Tempted elbow by Vero, but Piasing able to move out the wing for a lot of these shots, Kevin. Yeah, for sure. Oh, good right hand that time. Oh, she's not able to move away there. Big right hand there from Vero, knocking back Pansing. Pansing trying to fight back as best she can. He eats to the elbow, sorry, knee to the body. As more strikes to the head come in by Vero. You know, the biggest change in Vero's game plan is the knee to the body. We haven't seen her throw so much of that before. But now that she's moved over to Thailand, it seems to be working out for her just fine. That's the end of the second Ooh. round. End of round two, great fight. Stay with us. The conclusion up next. ไทไฟลีกสนับสนุนโดยพัมคินครบทุกเรื่องเครื่องมือช่างIn there. Not many female fighters say that when coming up against Vero. Yeah, looking much better in this round, or excuse me, the previous round than she did in the first. Paya Singh very happy to take the fight to Vero. Let's see, round number three. Outside kick there from Vero, looking for that left hand. Good low That's kick nice. there from Paya Singh, landed very well. Which I don't think I've seen much fighters actually attack the legs of Vero. No, they don't really get the opportunity to. No, they don't. Good body attacks once again from Vero. Vero has really turned it up in his third round. Reminiscent of what she did in her previous bout at Chachang South Province. Oh, nice stiff left jab there from Vero once again. Showing respect now to Piasing is Vero. Good right hand there. Nice right kick to the body by Piasing. Very impressive by Piasin, really taking the fight to Vero. Did not think we're going to see a fight like this. Oh, good solid left kick to the body and a right hand from Vero. I should have a small left. Hooks to the body, but then Piasin delivers a good right of her own. I mean, that was a great counter from Piasin. Vero not taking kindly to it, started to attack tenfold. And a shot to the body there by Vero. Good counter again from Piasin. Oh, and a good right hand. Left jab, tempted right hand, but missing the mark. I know Vero's winning this fight, but I'm sure she's feeling a little bit frustrated by now, and you've got to give credit to Piasin for that. Yeah, when Vero doesn't knock an opponent out, she almost feels like she failed at something. Yeah, no, no. Just, just, a, just a bit. Left the attempted there by Vero. She has nothing to be frustrated about. No, she's, she's still winning the fight. Exactly, she's doing a good job in there. Left jab by Vero, and again. Beautiful jab by Vero. And end of the third and final round. Good solid fight, good solid rounds in the back there for Piasing. A great show of sportsmanship there from both these fighters. Yeah, you gotta love it. Not in the rule book of Muay Thai, but we see a lot of respect shown after.
ของมวยหญิงในวันนี้และผู้ชนะได้แก่ The Winner เอาละครับใครเชียร์ใครก็ส่งเสียงกันได้เลยนะได้แก่เวรราวรจวงบอลเมียนมาโอ้โหยินดีด้วยมากๆเลยนะครับยังมีความเหนือชั้นกว่านะฮะไทยไฟลีกสนับสนุนโดยใบอีซูซูดีแม็กซ์เหนือลิมิตพิชิตโลกมาลุยกับไทยไฟคู่ต่อไปครับเป็นซูเปอร์ไฟแบบคาดเชื่อนะครับในพิกัดน้ำหนัก63กิโลกรัมเป็นยอดมวยผู้มีดีกรีแชมเปี้ยนมวยไทยออฟสวีเดน3สมัยครับแล้วก็เป็นเจ้าของแข็งขัด IFMA World Champion 2018ด้วยยอดคนนี้เคยมากับไทยไฟแล้วต่อให้ดีต้องดูดุมากนะครับต้อนรับ Snowman มาทิลยาสเซนมาทิลยอนสัน Snowman ประเทศสวีเดนดูหน้าตาก็ไม่ธรรมดาฝีมือก็ไม่ธรรมดานะครับขอบคุณมากครับเชิญประจำตำแหน่งเลยครับคลึกคืนทีเดียวนะฮะอะดรีนาลินหลั่งไหลมาเต็มที่ต้องเจอกับคนคนนี้เป็นมวยพันบูครับแต่ว่าตัวเล็กแต่เขาบอกว่าถ้าเขายิ่งเจอคู่ต่อสู้เก่งๆหรือว่าคู่ต่อสู้ที่ตัวใหญ่ของเขาเนี่ยนะเขาจะยิ่งสู้เขาจะวิ่งไอ้ทุบไม่หยุดเลยฉายาของเขาคือมหาการแดงใต้เพชรสมุยลูกเจ้าพ่อร้องต้มไม่สนว่าหน้าไหนไม่สนว่าชาติเลยเพชรสมุยลูกเจ้าพ่อร้องต้มมหาการแดนใต้ประเทศไทยมารวมคนคนสมุยสมุยสมุยเอาหุยเลหุยร่วมแรงร่วมใจสมุยบ้านเราดินแดนยิ่งใหญ่เองนอกเองไม่ใช่คนไกลรวมแรงรวมใจสมุยบ้านเราพี่เอ๋ยน้องเอ๋ยสมุยบ้านเราเกิดบ้านนี้เมืองที่ขาโตโรงเรียนที่คุณครูสอนข้าอย่างโยวัฒนธรรมของพิมช่างโกลูกหลานชาวเลไม่ลืมน้ำโมลวงพ่อบุญโทวเองจงรักกันสมุยวันนี้ชื่อเสียงดังไกลI get hit that much. t a y s Johnson versus p e p s a m u i Look, Jao Perong Tom. Look at the height differential. Goodness me. Yeah, it's obvious. 
but also look at the weight that Petsamui carries in his legs. And that has its own advantages. Tyus Johnson with his eyes locked onto the eyes of Petsamui. It's a mean business. He's also got an eye on his chest. Yeah. It's locked somewhere. <laughs> And side kicks from Petsamui. Looks like he's showing his respect to his opponent, which he doesn't normally do, I mean. He usually nice goes after him. to the body. Respecting the man's talent and respecting his height as well. Left up there from the snowman. Outside kick from Petsamui. Inside kick. And then another outside kick. Both fighters looking for that. Yeah, both fighters connected. From hands here. It's, oh, elbow. He's got to be careful not to get over aggressive and get caught. There's that flying knee again. Connected to the hip. Left hook again there from the snowman. Nice low kicks being thrown by both fighters. Really crisp boxing here Beautiful. from Janssen. But a lot of that was getting blocked up. Oh, and Petch is ready. Great hands there. Oh, another hold on the top right hand there. Oh, and Petch ate an uppercut there that really stunned him. Johnson jumps in. Oh, the beautiful elbow there oh, again. again! The equalizer for Petsamui! And a right elbow! And Johnson's bleeding. Underneath his eye, he's already bleeding from those elbows. Cut him up nicely. And blood coming from the mouth of Petsamui as well. So here we are, just minutes into the first round. and We caught him at him. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What a technique that was. Petsamui moves out the way. Left kicks now from Petsamui. I think Johnson's hurt, Adam. Oh, he's definitely hurt. He's looking for that uppercut again, but he misses the mark that time. Petsamui throwing in confidence. He don't think, I don't think Petsamui will want this. Oh! Right hand again. Really stunned him. But the snowman bounces, bounces back up. What a fight we've got on our hands. His strikes don't look like they have the same zip on them as they did before, though. He looks kind of like he's fighting through the fog. Yeah, I agree with that. Good low kick from Petsamui. And again, eyes on that left leg. Another nice right hand from Johnson. Looking for a high kick. Deep breath there from the snowman. Oh, left knee raises the chin of Petsamui. Gets the dunk on his head for his trouble. What a round. Wow. Beautiful round here at Thai Fight Sarabari. Thai Fight League สนับสนุนโดย Eon Auto Quick Cash ต้องการเงินสดทะเบียนรถช่วยได้I want to watch. <laughs> yeah, I really just want to watch this Look, fight. It looks like Johnson's regained his composure. Well, he had some time there to to, sh to get through the fog, so to speak, in between rounds. There's no question he was fighting on autopilot for some time in that first round. Beautiful leg kicks there from Petsamui as uh, Johnson moves in. Yeah, they're bothering him too. Check that one. There's a nice rip, double rip to the body there from Johnson. I think that hurt Petsamui as well, the way he's backing up. And again, he goes to the body. And again, beautiful technique there. Petsamui's got to bring out those elbows out of... God, I love this fight. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. That looked like a bit of a low one there. Oh, that cut is nasty. Oh, he's really going after the body. Really ripping the body. And Petsamui does not like it. He keeps throwing that push kick. He's trying to keep him off him. There's a nice rip, ripped kick to the body there. Petsamui can't sit there. Oh, and again with the flying knee. There's the elbows. This is where exactly where Petsamui really wants to be. Left high kick from the uh, smaller tie. Good elbow there from Petsamui. 
Johnson's got to be super careful whenever he gets in close like that. Johnson's got to go back to the body, in my opinion. Oh, the right hand there from Petsamui. What an intriguing matchup this is. Left hand from the former Ratchet Man champion. Outside kick. Johnson's feet look unsolid. I think that punch really rocked him. Going back to the uh, body again is the ice. It's the snow battle. He's got to watch out for those elbows. So similar to Ryan Leonard. All about Johnson and all of a sudden Petsamui comes back. Petsamui's got to keep going after that leg. It, was, it looks like he's in trouble every time he hits it. It looks like there's a slight grimace on the snowman's face. Overhand right there from Petsamui. Back to the leg. Oh my goodness. Oh. High shots, body shots, switching levels is the snowman. Oh. A lot of those strikes were glancing though. You've got to worry about the gas tank of Johnson gassing himself out, throwing all those. Those punches. Pouring out of that cut. Oh, Petsamui. Drives in with the right hand. Edge of the sea stuff here at Tie Fight Sarabu. A Moy War, as they call it. Yeah, this feels like reading George Martin. You just wonder which hero's going to get killed. Thai Fight League, สนับสนุนโดย by Isuzu D Max, เหนือลิมิตพิชิตโลกWants to take a look. Oh! Oh, come on, Doc. Surely he's okay. I mean, Pet Petsamui's head as well is cut. Look at the cuts on his head. Yeah, but his, fight. his no. isn't squirting like a faucet. I, I think both fighters deserve to end this fight the way they want it to end. I don't want to see a doctor stoppage. Yeah, we, honestly, even like this is hard because it's slowing the momentum on what's been such an incredible ride. Cracking left kick Look from Petsamui. Petsamui moving in. Left low kick. Right hook there from Petsamui. Back Look. comes Johnson with his boxing. Two tough warriors going at it right now. What more could you want? 
And a nice left hand there from Johnson. Inside kicks from Ketsunui. And he's got him against the ropes. That's where he wants him. He's done really good with his boxing when Petch is against the ropes. This time fight Rocky movie. It's a real life Rocky movie happening right now. Look at the blood pouring down, streaming down the face of the snowman. It hasn't slowed him down at all. Both fighters look a bit out on the feet, and I understand why. Left kick there from Petsunui, right kick to the body from the snowman. Petch is starting to look tired. Closing stages now of the third and final round. Is he one that sting in the tail? Oh, we go. Unbelievable fight. I want to stand up for that one. That's one of the few times I'm not going in that I feel like a fan. As much as I feel like I'm working. All the expectations that we had for that fight, Aaron, it lived up to them all. I've got to say, Adam, that might be one of the best fight I've ever commentated on. That's exactly what I was thinking. In the two plus years we've been working for Thai Fight, that's one of the absolute best fights I've seen. Right now, I'm going to leave it to the judges and the MCs. Oh my god, the climax is killing me. Come on. Put the boy from Thailand! I wanted to see a draw. I wanted to see a draw. But congratulations, Neil Lester. I can't see it. ไทยไฟล์ลีกสนับสนุนโดย Beat Active Indoor Sports Entertainment ครบวงจรที่ไบเทคติดรถไฟฟ้าบางนาไปต่อที่อีกคู่ดีกว่าอีกคู่บอกแล้วว่าเป็นมวยศอกใช่ไหมครับของไทยนี่ต้องกิตติแน่นอนแต่คนนี้เขาบอกว่าสูสีแล้วก็อายุพอๆกันประมาณ20ต้นๆน,นะฮะคือถ้าอายุ20ต้นหนุ่มไงหนุ่มไงโอ้ความฟิตยังมาเดี๋ยวผมว่าใส่กันแหละเดือดไงแล้วคิดดูว่าทั้งคู่ออกมาเนี่ยคุกขลุ่นแน่นอนครับไม่งั้นยอดมวยจากบราซิลคนนี้นะฮะมีอาวุธหนักหน่วงนะพร้อมควงกับปั้นแล้วนะครับขอเสียงต้อนรับจอมห้าวจากเรียววิกเตอร์ฮูโกฮูโกจอมห้าวจากรีโอประเทศบราซิลเ
โอ้โหดูหุ่นดูหน้าดูห้าวแบบชาวบราซิลสุดๆครับพวกเดียวครับฟิตแน่ๆฟิตแน่ๆคู่นี้เนี่ยนะฮะมาดูนักชกชาวไทยกันบ้างครับผมมีเรื่องเล่ายังไงยาวไหมสมัยวัยเด็กคนนี้เนี่ยนะเกิดมาเนี่ยฟันศอกก่อนเดินได้นะโอ้โหนี่คือเดินด้วยศอกเงี้ยเหรอเดินด้วยศอกเลยคนนี้กึ่งกี้เลยคนบ้าเลยคุณเป็นคนบ้าเลยเนี่ยพูดอะไรเลยนี่คือนี่คือความชำนาญของเขาอ๋อนะครับปรบมือต้อนรับดังๆเลยฉายาคุณศอกทะลวงฟันครับปรบมือต้อนรับกิติสอจอแดนระยองจอแดนระยองขุนศอกทะลวงฝันประเทศไทยHugo, 23-year-old fighter from Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, 180 centimeters tall. This fight at 71 kilograms. He has a record of 43 fights, 30 wins, 12 losses, and one draw. Started training Muay Thai at age 11. His favorite fighters are almost unanimously from Phuket Fight Club, including fellow Brazilians Luis Cajaba, Julio Lubo. Lobo and Jose Neto. These are all guys who have fought here at Thai Fight. That's right, yeah. And he'll be taking on that man right there. Kitty Saw Jo Dan Rayong. 21 year old from Thailand, from Chanterbury province in Thailand. 
182 centimeters tall with a professional record of 90 fights, 79 victories, 11 losses with zero draws. He is the former 2019 Thai fight card champion at 70 kilograms. Current record at Thai fight is 12 fights with 11 victories. Sorry, 12 fights, 12 victories, 11, 11 knockouts. There you go, 11 knockouts. Sounds about right. The only decision win was against uh, Mazzetti. That came at Thai fight Phuket last January, in which he did win the card check tournament, the championship at 70 kilograms. Yeah, he is a card check killer for sure. Someone we weren't really expecting to take to the tie fight ring like he has. He never really had stadium credentials. I know he was a monster on Max Muay Thai. But he's come to tie fight and he's just transformed into an absolute killer. He's reckless, he's ruthless. But There's gotta be one more R word we can use <laughs> in the right house. I was looking for it as well. But he's a wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> That's not an R, is it? Oh, never mind. Okay, folks, in the black corner from Thailand, Kitty saw Jo Dan Rayong. Versus Victor Hugo from Brazil in the white corner. He did mention Nata Gomez, also from Phuket Fight Club. He actually fought Kitty last time out here at Thai Fight, losing by a KO due to three the three knockdown rule. Kitty knocked him down three we must have times some kind in a round. Deal. We must have some kind of, Thai Fight must have some kind of deal worked out with Phuket. Fight Club because we've pretty much seen their entire stable. <laughs> There's some Thai fantastic fight. fighters. Yeah, Kajiba fought Satan Fai in a very close decision. Lomo, I believe he beat uh, Victor Pinto and he also went the distance with Sachai. Beautiful jumping right elbow. Yeah, keep your eye on that swiping right elbow from Kitty. It's definitely his favorite technique. You go fighting back though. Kitty not having it all his own way. Looking for that right elbow. Oh, both fighters looking for the same technique at the same time. Yeah, I like that. I like what Hugo's doing here. Fighting, fighting, he's, Yeah, fighting. he's meeting him right in the middle with the same style of elbows. Short arm salute. Give me something, Kitty, something to think, think about right now. Oh, he oh. caught him. He caught him and he hurt him with a left hand uppercut. Someone's bleeding on him. I would not be surprised at all if it's Kitty. A real scrap right now. Victor Hugo looking to make a name for himself. He's taking these shots and he's moving forward. Oh, and again, almost to the back of the head that time. Kitty pushes opponent back and then off the ropes, connects with that elbow again. Nice there, look good there from yeah, Hugo. He was looking for it again. That was the same one he connected with earlier in the first round. You can see they've been doing that homework at Phuket Fight Club. Yeah, I think he came in really prepared. As prepared as you can be for the flurry that Kitty always throws out at the beginning of the first round. Hugo looking comfortable and looking calm. Good body kick there from Kitty. But again, that beautiful left uppercut. Worrying times here for Kitty. Saw Joe Danrayong. Nice snap in left hand. Connect to the right. Moving in for the kill. Kitty. Good knee. And an elbow connects. And another one. That one hurt him. Now Hugo's in trouble. Down he goes. More from the pressure than from an individual strike. But we've seen this happen before. We've seen Kitty sort of battle through, break that shell. Once he cracks that shell. Let's see if Hugo can hang in there. Oh, goodness. That looked like a downward elbow to the top of the head. Yeah. Menacing from Kitty. 
It'd One be a more. shame if Hugo couldn't make it out of this round. He, I would like to see him do that, to Me be too. But Kitty, he has his claw sharpened right now, and he's looking for that third knockdown to finish the fight. Oh, another right elbow over the top there from Kitty. Hugo's oh, just... Oh, really? Yes. Uh, a little bit unfortunate. I was going to say, perplexed looks on the cornerman, but not on the face of Victor Hugo. ไม่ยอมกันเลยนะฮะแต่ว่าเราก็ได้พูดชนะแล้วนะครับ <coughs> ขอให้ทุกคนมีความสุขกับการชมมวยไทยไฟของเรานะครับ Thai Fight สนับสนุนโดยใบอีซูซูดีแม็กซ์เหลือลิมิตพิชิตโลกลุยกันหน่อยที่คู่ต่อไปนะครับพบกันในพิกัดน้ำหนักเจ็ดสิบแปดกิ
ตหนึ่งสิทธิเจสายรุง้งมังกรปากน้ำโผประเทศไทยแทงเน่ just taking his time and as soon as he sees an opening he's going to unleash that left hand we know it's coming I mean the t r i l l e r knows it's coming as well but it's really difficult oh. to contend with beautiful left kicks there from the Thai fighter it's a oh. nice combination from the t r i l l e r yeah acknowledged as well there from the Tang Nen there's that left hand that one two combination Body shot from Teng Lung, looking for that left high kick, trying to make the tree drop the guard so he can then go in with that left hand, stalking his Teng Lung. You can see that b a t r i l l a is circling. Oh, there's that left hand. He's Bitrilla. circling around the ring. Looks very uncomfortable. Moving away from the left hand of Teng Lung. Now he's going in the wrong direction, though. We've seen people try and circle every which way but loose. <laughs> t e c h n i c always finds that mark. That shows you the respect that these fighters have. It's clearly part of the game plan for Petrilla to circle in that direction, away from the left-handed power of t e n g n e g Oh, another left hand there. Flurry from Petrilla, but not hurt. t e n g n e g one eye over. Inside kick. The t r i l l e r ducks down and grabs a hold of Tengu. t e n g u s left hand is just like a Timberland beat; it just hits different. It's not like a ten-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> reference there from Adam. Oh, spinning back here and then a right. s o m e hammer fist. That last right hand connected for the Trilla. It's already been a better fight for him this time around than his last outing in Phuket. Again, Vitria drops a hold. End of round one. ไทยไฟลีกสนับสนุนโดยอีออนออโต้ควิกแคสต้องการเงินสดทะเบียนรถช่วยได Yeah, he's done a pretty good job of that so far. 
trying to stay on the outside and use his movement oh, to... Beautiful one-two there from Tengnu. Almost a Superman, Superman tight punch from the tie. Windmill type left hand from the Russian. See, every time Tang Lin trying to clock that left hand, the killer moves away. The ref's like, stop circling to your left. <laughs> Not allowed. <laughs> oh. Oh, a count? That seems a bit. Ah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Looked more to me like he just got caught off balance and knocked off his yeah, feet. Yeah, I'd have to see a replay of that. Oh, oh my goodness! He did that same move in the first round and caught him. He repeated it here in the second and it went even better for him. He throws a spin with like a fake spinning back fist right into a straight right hand. And down goes Tengne. That was definitely a knockdown. That was, yeah, that thought, one deserved you know, a count. I thought the referee was going to step in and just call it off. No, I think he was preventing Tengne from just standing up quickly and saying, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, there's no count. Two interesting counting decisions by the ref here in round two. Well, he's losing his fight now. He's playing the... Well, I mean, not. He's not. If they counted that first kick as a knockdown, he's not. Should've, which is, which makes it knockdown. really, yeah, it shouldn't have been. Pumping that jab is Petrilla. Definitely has a dose of confidence now. That was a good left hand. Now he's Petrilla again. Oh, a beautiful left hand for Technic. Petrilla's on the back foot. Yeah, that put a stop to his forward motion. He's looking for a takedown now. Literally, he literally punched him into MMA. <laughs> <laughs> I think Technic spells blood in the water. And that elbow from the tie. Oh, oh and he did oh, it again. Oh, my God. He did it again, and he landed again, but Tang Neng also landed, and down goes Petrilla. Tang Neng is looking to jump in and finish the job. Oh, oh my goodness. Medic! Medic! I don't know, Adam. I think he's okay. I don't think oh, he's okay. I don't think he's okay. <laughs> oh, Medic is a <laughs> wow, interesting fight, interesting round. Take Nick gets stopped down, Petrilla gets stopped down two times. The ref calls it. What more can you ask for? You're getting your money's worth here that time, That was an incredible boy. round. From Thailand, Peng Nung Sik Jai Sarong here at Thai Fight Begins.
ทยไฟลีกสนับสนุนโดยบ่ายอีซูซูดีแม็กซ์เหนือลิมิตพิชิตโลกคู่ต่อไปนะฮะเป็นการชิงตั๋วใบเดียวที่จะได้เข้าไปชิงถ้วยพระราชทานไทยไฟในปลายปีนี้ถูกต้องฮะคู่นี้สําคัญมากๆครับมีชื่อว่าอิสุสุครับซูเปอร์ไฟนะฮะจะเป็นการหาตัวแทนจากประเทศไทยนะที่จะเข้าไปอยู่ในศึกไทยไฟ2014ครับรุ่น70กิโลกรัมนั่นเองฮะนักชกคนแรกของเรานะฮะแน่นอนโอ้โหคนนี้เก่งมากๆนะฮะหลายท่านน่าจะเห็นเขาชกออกทีวีมาแล้วฮะเขาคือแชมป์มวยรอบอิสุสุครับครั้งที่24ครับถ้าพร้อมแล้วขอเสียงดังๆต้อนรับชนะจนพีเคแสนชัยมวยจายเยมอีสุสุครับซุปเปอร์ไฟท์ชนะจนพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยหยิบแชมป์มวยรอบอิสุสุครับครั้งที่24ประเทศไทยบอกคุณผู้ชมนะฮะว่าเส้นทางสู่สังเวียนเกียรติยศในน้ำหนัก70กิโลกรัมนี้มีตั๋วใบเดียวเท่านั้นนะครับเพราะนั้นผู้ที่จะเป็นคู่ต่อสู้ของเขานะครับบอกได้เลยว่าโอ้โหคนนี้เป็นนักมวยไทยขั้นเทพเลยนะฮะเชิงสองเขาน่ากลัวมากบอกได้เลยว่านะฮะคุณผู้ชมจะโอ้โหผมบรรยายไม่ถูกจริงครับสำคุณเขายาวเหยียดมากสรุปสั้นๆเลยเขาคือคุณศอกอมหินใสโยกภูมิพันธ์มูงอวตารไทยไฟอีสุสุครับซุปเปอร์ไฟท์สอกอมหิตประเทศไทยFighting out of the PK Senchai Muay Thai gym, uh, the uh, 13 coins gym. Sayok, massive experience, 260 fights, fought all over the world in the last five years. Oh, and the boys go straight into the action. Oh, Sayok so aggressive, as aggressive as I've ever seen him, right from the off. 
See the tall, leaner body of Chana John. Sen Chai older. Uh, so, sorry, Sayuk. Older, more experienced. Always going to be a little bit of feeling out, pros. You look at the two fighters and, and, and you, you never dreamed of the same weight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just carry the weight differently, don't they? See the patience in Chana John. Hard kick for me. Sayo puts everything into his kicks. But Chana John will exchange with him. Trade with him. Eyes from Chana John. Obviously, it's such an exacting process, the Isuzu Cup. Winner of that is always on top of his game. Actually, the last two winners uh, have gone on to win the tie fight. Farmon uh, Khan last year. Singh Mini, Gersam Rit the year before. It's a real, real test. Once you can get through that test, shows you know you are a very very deserving champion so far Chana John looks come looks very very confident he looks very he's able he's soaking everything up isn't he that uh, Sayuk has pushed at him so far he's soaking it all up he's calm as can be he wouldn't be as calm as that with Sayuk throwing bombs at me like, like he does oh he's just exchanging everything there it comes back with an elbow of his own it's interesting to watch them feel each other out, find them, try to find the opening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they, so it gets like a game of chess with Muay Thai at this level. We've seen some brilliant fights. So when Singmini, I remember when Singmini, Singmini uh, boxed against Sutsukorn two years ago. He just wanted more rounds. He wanted it to be five rounds. Three rounds was too quick. Oh, look at the exchange here. It's give and take, tip for tap. Look at that, look at that. Brilliant stuff. Round one, all to go for. I'll say that's even. Thai Fight League สนับสนุนโดย Pumpkin ครบทุกเรื่องเครื่องมือช่าง Fight. The winner of this goes through to represent Thailand in Thai fight 2014. This fight is a life changer for the winner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aggressive start, especially from Chana John. Here we go, Phil. Whoa, don't blink, my goodness. But it's a trade, isn't it? It's a trade. They're just shipping, they're exchanging. Ooh, what a one to judge. Great skills from both boys. Oh my goodness. Oh, fantastic from Chanage on the elbow. Sayo takes it all and he's still there. Ways up. Which way I'm going to go forward? Chanage on presses forward. Chanage on again coming forward. Chanage on a little momentum. Momentum from Chanage on. Good work from Chanage on. Pushing forward again. Sayo, stiff right hand gets through. Chana John blocks well. Great body work from the white corner. Oh, flying knee from Chana John. Chana John perhaps got a little bit of the ascendancy. Mixing it up beautifully. Going high and going low. Using his reach. Look at the long reach. Look at the eyes. Look at oh, and he. Fantastic. Big right hook from Sayok gets through. Chana John didn't flinch. Tough boy. We know they're all hard as nails. But it rocked him. Comes back. Oh, what an exchange. This is what I mean when I say three rounds is too short, Jerry. Oh, oh lovely kick from Sayok. Oh, what a trade. Oh, good elbow over the top. Oh, and Chana John comes back with a flying, uh, flying knee. Oh, what action. We've seen a combination of techniques. Oh, 
a lovely, lovely long knee from Chana John. Sayok keeps walking forward. He's not getting through with the technique though. I think Chani John's corner is saying go for the longer stuff, go for the longer stuff, keep it a bit, a bit, a bit of a distance. Kai Yao, long, long leg, long knee. Yo, look at the way he got that knee in. I think he's gaining a little bit of an ascendancy. He's so determined though, Sai Yok, he'll never give up, he just keeps coming forward. But every now and again, a little nice technique, a neat technique is getting through from Chani John. Yeah. Oh, lovely swerve to avoid that and comes back with a knee of his own. Chana John did get a little bit more clinical in that second round. For sure. Thai Fight League สนับสนุนโดย by Isuzu D Max เหนือลิมิตพิชิตโลกจอห์นในวัยชานาจอห์นบอดี้ลังวิชในในบิทเวนรอนส์ชานาจอห์นลุกลุกมอร์คอมเพลนต์ลุกแฮปปี้เขาลุกไลค์เขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขาเขา John feels he's ahead. And he's mixing up lovely and evading beautifully. Sayuk keeps coming forward. Look at the look at that kick. Trademark, trademark, trademark right kick into the midsection. From Chana John, really like the look of Chana John. Oh my goodness! His lace have gone. Chanajon's lace have gone. What a turnaround! Oh Sayok has pulled it out. Chanajon's lace have gone. The left elbow from Sayok. The crowd are on the feet. Sayok's jumping up and down because he's really pulled that one out of the bag. He needed to do it. He needed a knockout, didn't he, he Jerry? He was coming on that round. If you notice, he became the aggressor. Oh, he, 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 he had to be, he had to be. He felt behind. Yeah. What a win, what a stunning win. But that just shows, shows just how it, oh my goodness. That's the dreams we're made of right here. By knockout, he will represent Thailand in the 70 kilogram Thai fight tournament this year. What a fight! Commiserations to uh, Chana John PK Muay Thai. It's a PK Senchai Muay Thai gym. He looked really, really good until that point, didn't he? ไฟลีกสนับสนุนโดย Beat Active 
อินดอร์สปอร์ตเอนเตอร์เทนเมนต์ครบวงจรที่ไบเทคติดรถไฟฟ้าบางนาชกกันในแบบคาดเชือกนะครับมีการต่อน้ำหนักถึง1กิโลครับคนนี้จะชกในพิกัดน้ำหนัก66กิโลกรัมครับยอดมวยจากแดนน้ำหอมขอสิ่งต้อนรับ Charles f r o m s w a Charles f r o m s w a คาลิโตยอดมวยแดนน้ำหอมประเทศฝรั่งเศสกัดน้ำหนัก65กิโลนะครับเขาจะใช้ศิลปะแม่ไม้นะครับมวยไทยสร้างความสุขให้กับพ่อแม่พี่น้องชาวนาราธิวาสมากขนาดไหนต้องขอเสียงปรบมือต้อนรับเขาเลยครับโคตรมวยแห่งสยามแสนชัยพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยยิ้มเขาเล่นแบบทางเดินของคนที่ไม่เคยเห็นมาก่อนคนที่ไม่เคยเห็นมาก่อนคนที่ไม่เคยเห็นมาก่อนคนที่ไม่เคยเห็นมาก่อนคนที่ไม่เคยเห็นมาก่อนคนที่ไม่เคยเห็นมาก่อนคนที่ไม่เคยเห็นมาก่อนคนที่ไม่เคยเห็นมาก่อนคนที่ไม่เคยเห็นมาก่อนคนที่ไม่เคยเห็นมาก่
going to have a really hard time staying on his feet. He's going to get his pilot's license here in this fight. He's already gone flying twice. Sanjay threatening with that downward elbow. Look at those angles. Look at those angles. Just the way he's able to slip outside of that circle around before he even <laughs> sees it. And next thing you know, he's kicking him in the back. Let's not forget to mention that Sanchai's 35 years old, which in Muay Thai oh. is absolutely ancient. He's, a, he's an absolute speed demon. At 35, after 300 fights. His footwork is probably one of the best ever. The way he moves around his opponent. Yeah, I've never seen anybody with the angles. The, finding the angles that he's able to find with the balance. And he's a special talent you're witnessing, ladies and gentlemen, right here. Sanchai PK, Sanchai Muay Thai. Full weight division Lumpini champion. Just moves out of the way effortlessly. Oh, right hand. Overhand oh, left there. Oh, that I think that's Pace Charles. It was an overhand left that caught him. Oh, but the knee. Whatever he ate for lunch is coming back up right now. I think he just puked. Hey, 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 hey. It was over on left. He's going to go for the oh, kill. Jumping high kick. kick. Oh. It is a wall of hurt, a left hand there. And Charles is in all sorts of trouble here. He's going to answer the count again. Second time he's been knocked down in this round. Yeah, we're going to see a third one coming up here. I don't usually predict the future, but. Cat wheel kick. The famous Sanchai cartwheel kick. I think the ref just said, hey, let's see that one more time. <laughs> Left hand there from... Good knee to the body from Charles. I'm not sure if he's aware where he is right now. He Amazing. might just be on motor Sanchai reflex fights. here. The other fighters come out to watch. They're in his corner at the moment. Iquazang, who fought previously in Payak Samui. Well, well, when you watch him fight, you just get the feeling that you're seeing... You're that, really witnessing something special. Absolutely. ไทยไฟลีกสนับสนุนโดยอีออนออโต้ควิกแคสต้องการเงินสดทะเบียนรถช่วยได้Here we go, round two. Let's see what kind of tricks Sanchai has in this round. He's just a master. He really is. Once again, puts Francois on his back. We said he'd be spending some time there in this fight. Oh, Left hand! And that's going to be all over. Lightning fast, short left, right to the face. And he just decided that he didn't want any more of this. And that left hand caught him and he went down like a sack of potatoes. Your winner, PK Sachai, PK Sachai Muay Thai. What a tremendous performance. You know, he's usually quite genial in there. I mean, he's, his technique is outstanding, but I think that disrespect that he got at the beginning of that fight, yeah, he wasn't going to let this one go to decision. You're just witnessing a master class in Muay Thai here. Although we're on this other planet, I say the same thing about Sancho when it comes to Muay Thai. No one's close. He's on a different planet. And Charles' face is, he is just, oh man, I shouldn't laugh, it's not funny. He looks like he's been he's in got a, a broken round, face. looks like he's been in a 12 round war. Yeah, he's, he's got a bit of a broken face at the moment, and that's, that's not something that's going to bounce back any time.
ชัยไฟลีกสนับสนุนโดยบ่ายอิสุสุดีแม็กซ์เหนือลิมิตพิชิตโลกชิงทั่วพระราชทานนะครับในน้ำหนัก70กิโลกร,รมัมอันนี้ละใครเป็นแฟนปตทต้องกรี๊ดแล้วนะปตทมาแล้วนะครับมาแล้วนะครับมาแล้วนะครับซึ่งแน่นอนนะฮะว่าอันนี้ไม่พอนะฮะเราต้องอัดฉีดกันหน่อยนะฮะสามหมบาทให้กับผู้ชนะนะฮะโดยดรวรุษวันณะเอียมพิกุลประธานกิติมศักดิ์มูลที่รุจิรวงในพระราชูปถัมภ์นะฮะและก็ไม่หมดแค่นี้นะฮะคุณนัทแฟนมันแท้ครับบอกว่าถ้าปตทชนะน็อกยกหนึ่งนะฮะจกอีก 30,000 บาทครับผมโอ้ยอัดฉีดถึงขนาดนี้ผมก็ต้องหาคู่ต่อสู้ที่มันแข็งกระแข่งกันมาหน่อยนะฮะแข็งทั้งตัวแข็งทั้งใจเพราะเขาคือผู้กล้าแห่งอัฟกาอ้าวขอเสียงประมือต้อนรับฮาชิมชาเกเรฮาชิมจาเกเรผู้กล้าแห่งอัฟกาประเทศอัฟกานิสถานดูพลังฟิตขนาดดีอัฟกานิสถานนะครับผมต้องมาเจอคนคนนี้ครับทุกคนดูแล้วแน่นอนว่าเป็นใครนะครับเพราะเขามากับพลังใหม่อิสสุดีแม็กซ์เหนือลิมิตพิชิตโลกปรบมือดังๆเสียงกีดเกลียวกล่าวให้กับสลามร้ายแห่งเมืองชนปตทวอรุจิรวงปตทวอรุจิรวงสลามร้ายแห่งเมืองชนประเทศไทย The evening and the second semi-final of the 70 kg tournament. Let's not forget that earlier this evening, Alessio Malatesta booked his place in the final in one month's time in Ayutthaya. The winner of this fight will join him. Definitely a very exciting prospect. Still a packed house here on Thai fight, even though it's been raining on and off all evening. The crowd. Absolutely enjoying their time here this Sunday evening. Introducing first in the white corner, we have Ashem Jagori. He is 26 years of age from Isfahan. Oh, sorry, he was born in Isfahan, Iran, but he's representing Afghanistan. He stands at 180 centimeters and has a professional record of 40 fights, 32 victories with seven losses and one draw. And there you see his opponent fighting out of the black corner. It's PTT for Rujarat Wong. His real name is Wachalov Fangdanglag. 26 years of age, 178 centimeters tall, from Chunburi province in the eastern part of Thailand. He's a total of 169 fights, 138 victories, 30 losses, and one draw. He's a multiple time Thai fight tournament champion, and he's also the 26th Isuzu Cup tournament champion. I think he was an Omnoi champion as well. 
Tough for Gedevich in that part. Well, not only is this the semi-final for PTT, but this is actually his 50th fight in the Thai fight promotion. His record, as it stands, is 47 victories, two losses from 49 fights, 37 knockouts in 47 victories. Very impressive record there for Bata Ta or PTT. I'm going to get mixed up either with them way, all the time. Either yeah. way is fine. And quite honestly, I do like the blue hair. I think it matches the popping color of Thai fight perfectly. Anything but red. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Don't say that. When's kickoff? In an hour? That's right. <laughs> Just for your information, I'm an Everton fan and Aaron is a Manchester United fan. And that's happening later on tonight. But now we've got Thai fight oh. in the ring. Oh, good start there from uh, Jagori with some left hands going through the card and catching PTT. Yeah, I mean, Hashem has hit PTT a couple of times. PTT, he needs to be wary of that. He's been caught a few times in the past. Oh, on again, PTT gets clipped. What? Uppercut there from PTT. On again, another left hand from Jagori that connects, but PTT connects with one back, but again. Oh, oh my no. goodness. A right hand from Jagori, and PTT puts his hand down. What a surprise. This is unbelievable. Great start for Hashim Jagori from he's Afghanistan. Cut. He's cut over his eye. PTT, I don't think he knows where he is at the moment. Oh, and he's just knocked down Jagori. No, he no he's not. Ruled a slip, and my goodness, what a matchup this is. Both of them exchanging shots. Jagori getting the better of the exchanges, you feel, but either could switch the lights off at any time of either fighter. Just takes one punch from either of these two beasts to do it. Oh my goodness. Wow. Not sure where PTT's mindset is in at the moment. He's still pushing forward. He still wants that knockout. Oh, another left hand from Jagori. PTT with a left elbow. Knock it down, Jagori. What an amazing round. Hashem Jagori back onto his feet again. Blood flowing from the face of both fighters in what is an absolute war here in round number one. Oh, one of the biggest wars PTC has been in in a long time. PTC looking for that elbow strike again. Jagori looking for that swing in right and left. Connects. Another right hand by Jagori. And another one. PTT is out on his feet, but he's been in able to. What is PTT doing? He's forgotten to defend himself. Seriously, he was out on his feet momentarily, but he was still able to stay upright somehow. Yeah, I mean, the footwork isn't there anymore for PTT. Looks like he's yeah. got wobbly legs. His legs have gone. But I think Jokori might be fatigued as well. This is an absolutely unbelievable fight. Left knee there from PTT. I'm not sure he knows where he is right now. All he knows is that he needs to walk forward. He needs to knock his opponent out. Doing a good job of that momentarily. Oh, beautiful, beautiful by PTT. Right kick to the body, right hand. And for the second time in this round, Hashem Jagori is down. Can he get up? He's listening to his corner. He does get up. Another war okay. is about to ensue. One more knockdown for PTT and that will be in. Right hand for PTT. I think jagori has gone. And he's down. And it's all over. That is it. That is it! It's a victory for PTT! For Rucharawong! From the comeback! From the depths of defeat! PTT Everybody. rises like a blue phoenix and is able to knock out Hashem Chagori, knocking him down three times! Everybody here is on their feet! What an amazing matchup! PTT knocked down early on in that first round and later on managed to make a comeback and win by TKO! Ladies and gentlemen, you have just witnessed one of the most amazing rounds of Muay Thai in the history of the sport. PTT, we both thought he was...
Yeah, they're going to have to work on those cuts. <laughs> what a fight! Stay with us. 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 ทุกคนทั้งบ้านแล้วก็พวกเราโอ้โหพวกเรามันกันบ้างที่นี่นะฮะรับรางวัลนี่คือในหนึ่งยกจริงๆนะฉะนั้นก็เอาละครับประกาศผู้ชนะดีกว่านะฮะโอ้โหสะใจจริงๆอ้าว The f i n a l i s t ปตทวรุจิระวงปอมชัยเลยโอ้โหเดี๋ยวเขาเราจริงๆด้วยมาละชาติอีกปีหนึ่งล้านฮะโอ้ดูภาพตอนนี้สิ่งที่เขาได้ไปนะครับก็คือเงินอาชีนะฮะซึ่งทุกคนครับเราได้คู่ชิงในรุ่น70ปีกิโลกรัมเรียบร้อยแล้วใช่ครับที่จะไปชิงกับพี่อยุธยานะครับเป็นการชกของไทยไฟหลวงปู่ทวดนะครับ24ธันวาคมนี้นั่นคือปอตอทอนี่แหละฮะเจอกับอเลซิโอนะครับซึ่งนักชกชาวอิตาลีโอ้โหคู่นี้มันสะใจแน่นอนเจอกันมันแน่นึงมีนักชกจากอิตาลีเนี่ยนะฮะเป็นมวยชั้นเชิงรักกลุ่มปอตอทอเดินลุยอย่างเดียวเปิดหน้าลุยอย่างเดียวคู่นี้เจอกันจะเป็นยังไงฮะโอ้โหสะใจแน่นอนนะแล้วก็ครั้งหน้าไทยไปของเรานะฮะจะไปที่จังหวัดพระนครศรีอยุธยาก็ตามมาไปได้นะ24ธันวาคมนะฮะลิสต์ในบริเวณของคุณไว้เลยครับเจอกันนะครับทุกคนครับขอให้มีความสุขสุภาพร่างกายสมบูรณ์แข็งแรงครับเจอกันที่พระนครศรีอยุธยาครับสวัสดีครับ Fight League, the real blood arena. Search the new blood fighters with hard cheer, greatness, fruitless, and more exciting. Join us every Sunday at Beat Active by Tech Bree, live from 6 to 8 p.m. on Channel 8 Thailand, YouTube, and Facebook Thai Fight Official.